Hi, I'm Hillary Strieber, Senior Associate Rector at St. James's. And I'm Ed Bond, Editor of Anglican and Episcopal History and the co-author of the Diocese of the Episcopal Church in Virginia. I'm currently working with Julia Randall on a history of the Church School Corporation of the Diocese. We're really lucky to have Dr. Bond join us this week. He's one of the most respected historians of the Episcopal Church in our time. He has taught history at Sewanee School of Theology and at the historically Black University, Alabama A&M University. As we talked about last week, many of our parishioners have been inspired by presiding Bishop Michael Curry's call to becoming beloved community. As part of this ministry at St. James's, an amateur history team is looking into our historical records, vestry minutes, sermons, and the like to learn more about St. James's history with regards to race, racism, slavery, and so on. They have completed the first part of their research covering the years 1830 to 1865 and are excited to present what they found so far on April 24th and 31st. But before they present about St. James's history, it's important to know some background about, about what was going on in Richmond and the Episcopal Church at the same time. Last week, y'all learned about the history of the city of Antebellum Richmond from Dr. Greg Kimball. Tomorrow, April 21st, I'll talk about what the Episcopal Church was going through during the same time period, roughly 1830 to 1865. And it's not quite what we might expect it to be, is it, Dr. Bond? No, it's not quite. In fact, one of the things that we'll learn is that almost every Episcopalian alive today is a high church Episcopalian in the way that word was understood in the 19th century. That'll be really exciting to learn more about. Join me and Dr. Bond at tomorrow's Wednesday Fellowship and Study. Fellowship starts at 6 p.m. and Dr. Bond's talk starts at 6.30. You can get the Zoom link for this in our latest e-chimes or Wednesday morning email or at doers.org slash e-chimes. We'll see you soon and God bless.